for a video like this. I don't know how I sound, so I'm just gonna pretend I sound okay. Break out some dot or something for you once I break out the guitar. Uh, I don't really sing, so you don't have to put up with that agony. But anyway, I'm just gonna keep smudging since that's what you're here for. <coughs> okay, it's, huh, just stopped the video there for a second and I kept going. Just showing you how you can adjust the occupancy, just to kind of fade it out a bit. I'm going to do a little bit of erasing here because I don't really like the way that looks. you, you got to play with it a bit and erase and smudge until you get the, the look you're going for. You get the idea though. I'm going to pause the video in one second and just keep going and to the next step. I'll just show you the, the accuracy a little bit. This is what you're going for and you want to do it throughout any high, high spots. Okay, I'm back and um, I, sm I did a little bit more smudging and added highlights to the lion's face. I left the ball alone because I want to show you making that into a cherry. You can see all the, the high spots that I added a white line to and I smudged them the same as I did with the base. Oh, I got one spot there i got to fix up. Hold on, I'll take it down to the bottom there and I'll show you just and shut off the, the highlight just so you can see what I did. And I'll just shut off the highlight layer for one second. Gives you an idea. What I'm going to do now is start working on the ball to make it into a cherry. I'm going to basically select it with a circle tool and put a color of red over it and erase the spots in the hands and do some shading and highlights. I'm going to go through that step by step with you. First I'm going to get my elliptical tool I'm going to draw a circle. Then I'm going to transform the selection to get it to the right shape and size. I don't think I ever managed to draw it once but it would have to adjust it. I don't know if it's just that I got a crooked head or something but that's close enough. And I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to set this to overlay. You can go with color. I just find it gives a nicer look when you overlay it on the new layer. You have more control over it I find. I'm going to call this cherry with two R's. <laughs> you can make any size brush here. You're just basically filling in the entire circle. I could have used the paint bucket too so it doesn't really matter. But anyway you got circle and you probably think I'm as crazy as you did when I was drawing lines. I'm going to change that to an overlay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the eraser tool and start erasing it off the hands there. For the hands I'll pick the wrong top. You don't really have to be that careful there. Just have a soft edge brush so that you, any spots that you kind of go over the lion's hand onto the cherry it'll look kind of like a shadow so you don't really have to be perfect here. I'm going to do the same anywhere that you should be on top of the cherry. Back to my music. Do 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 do. No. I'm still coloring here. This is. I guess part two since YouTube won't let me use any longer video than 10 minutes, but anyway. Just showing the edge there, I'm going to fix that in a minute. Basically I'm going to get a soft edge brush now just to make it look like the cherry is sitting in the, the chocolate. So I'm going to erase some of the red there so it kind of looks like the chocolate's on the, ch the cherry a little bit and it's kind of sunk into the chocolate. Cherry's a little bright too, I'm going to change the occupancy a bit just to darken it up a bit. Any spots that you, you miss, you can just go back and erase them. I'm going to do a little bit more around the hands too, just to create a better shadow effect. I'm going to change the occupancy a little bit on my eraser just so I'm not erasing it all together. I'm just darkening it a little bit. I'm 
as he makes the, the shadow effect over the top of the cherry. I'm going to add some highlights to the cherry now. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the elliptical tool. And then I'm going to draw a circle and hold Alt. And that is your minus key. So And then draw another circle and just give me the shape of the, the cherry. I'm just going to create a new layer. Actually, I'm going to do this first. A little bit of smudging on it. But I'm... Um, Okay, here's my layer. Do do do, going crazy here. Cherry highlights. So here's the elliptical couture. I'm gonna draw one circle. And then I'm gonna hold an alt. Oh, that shift. Hold an alt, and it will deselect any of the selection. Just give me the the half moon shape that I'm looking for. I'm going to transform that just so it lines up better with the way the cherry is sitting. I'm going to fill that with white. So you just hit your D key and it'll bring up black and white. I'm going to feather the edge. Actually, I'm probably going to have to do this with an eraser tool, but I'm going to try it this way anyway. You can just ignore this because it probably won't work. Yeah, it didn't work. So I'm just going to select the highlight layer and use my eraser tool to feather the edge a bit.